Bismillah ve salatu ve salamu ala Resulullah ve ala alihi ve sahibu ala. In the name of Allah, and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his final messenger Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his companions and all those who follow him until the day of judgment. Yesterday, we were uh, discussing my, my first, my journey through the Qur'an. So the first, the, my journey through the Qur'an and reading the Qur'an and putting into practice the Qur'an was the source of my rehabilitation, my, uh, was the source of my spiritual rehabilitation and my, um, the correction of my, of my, ma of the actions of the limbs, of my manners, of, of, of the actions of the tongue, of the way I spoke, etc., etc. Now, upon, com upon completing the reading of the Qur'an for the first time in my life, which took approximately nine months, this reading wasn't just reading of the text, but I was reading the Abdullah Yusuf Ali, right, the Abdullah Yusuf Ali, I was reading that with its commentary. Now, when I was reading the Qur'an, and the Qur'an became my best friend, and I couldn't trust no human being. Saludo, Angel. So, so, solamente por ti lo voy a traducir, ¿está bien? Okay. So now, now I'm bound since uh, my cousin my cousin Angel from Puerto Rico, he's, he joined us, alhamdulillah. So I am bound to translate some of it in Spanish, inshallah, okay? Okay. So the first, to give a, a brief summary, right, so that my cousin can know what, what's going on. Uh, primero, yo hice cuatro videos, right? El primer video fue mi primer contacto con el Islam, ¿verdad? Y fue a través del, de, del baloncesto de, de Mahmoud Abdurraouf, Hakim Alajuan, etc. ¿Verdad? Entonces, cuando Jordan se retiró. Después de hablar de, de, de ese contacto y la historia, la trayectoria, este, la segunda parte que hice fue mi primer contacto con el Corán, ¿verdad? Y, y el Corán yo me lo, me lo robé de la librería para un, para un pana mío, para un amigo mío. Entonces, pero cuando yo necesitaba ayuda, el, eh, el único amigo que tuve por esos nuevo, nueve meses fue el Corán, ¿ok? Ahora, el tercer video que hice fue mi jornada en la lectura del Corán. Entonces, expliqué en breve... Cómo leyendo el Corán y poniéndolo en práctica fue mi rehabilitación de mi carácter, ¿verdad? Y de mi, de, de, del, del modo de vida que vivía, y tú mismo lo sabes, ¿verdad? Entonces, esa fue la, esa fue el, 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 la única ayuda, fue el, fue el Corán. Ahora, después de hablar, de, de pasar nueve meses leyendo el Corán y poniéndolo en práctica, entonces hoy vamos a hablar de mi primera visita a una mezquita. Okay, so now vamos a ir en inglés. All right, so I gave a brief a brief summary of the four videos, the four videos that I did. Uh, number one was my first contact with Islam. Number two was my first contact with the Quran. Number three was the journey, was the journey, my journey in reading the Quran, right? The journey that, that I embarked in a nine month journey of reading the Qur'an and putting it into practice to the best of my ability as a non-Muslim, right? And now, after reading the Qur'an nine months, I finally, I finally say to myself, I need to go to the mosque, right? I need to go to the mosque. If I don't go, Allah is going to ask me why you didn't go, right? And I said, I need to go to the mosque because I need to know how, learn how to pray. I need to learn how to fast. I need to learn the rules in Islam. 
So I decided to go to the mosque, right? And and actually this mosque used to be in the block, right? It used to be in the same street that I used to hang out with my friends. So now is I chose a day to go. You know, when you get inspired, when you get inspired, you you just go, right? That's it. I want to do it now. It's not tomorrow. So I chose to go to the block, right, to the street where the mosque is located on Friday, right? So now I've been away from my buddies, from my friends. For nine months, I've been just engaged with the Quran, reading, going to work, coming back home, reading, Right. Finally, I go to the block and I'm like, I'm going to I'm definitely going to see my boys. Right. I'm going to see them, you know, by the corner. I'm going to see them by, you know, those that know Union City, know 47th Street. Right. Know that area knows Kramer. Right. For those that know Union City, know what I'm talking about. Right. Union City, New Jersey, close to Bergenline. Right. And the mosque is on 47th Street. Right. 40. For those that don't know. The North Hudson Islamic Educational Center, 46, right, 4613 Cottage Place, Union City, New Jersey, right? So anyway, so I decided to go to the mosque. But at the same time, I was hesitant. I said to myself, you know, they're not, you know, if I go, if I enter the mosque, they're going to call the cops on me, right? So I'm like, I'm outside. And I see my boys, my friends, and my friends, they were drinking. And I said, I know, I know the way shaitan, the devil works, right? I know the way the devil works. The way the devil works is that when you don't want to do it, he gives it to you. When you don't want to do it, he gives it to you. So I said, I don't want to drink. I don't want to drink. But I went there, my friends. I started asking me, where you been? Where you been? I said, I've been chilling. I've been home and working. Man, you haven't, we haven't seen you. So then I, I decided, and then they said, here, they gave me a, they gave me a Corona, right? They gave me a beer. And I said to myself, I don't want to drink it. I don't want to drink it, but I'm going to fake it, right? I'm going to make believe. So now I'm here with this beer and I'm standing by the mosque. I'm trying to figure out how am I going to enter this place. The first thing that I noticed, and I've been in that street so many times. But sometimes when you're internally blind, you can't see. Sometimes when you're internally blind, you can't see. So I've been in that block. I used to hang out in that block, right? And when I went to that block, I... I looked up and I saw on top of the mosque, it says Allah, engraved in, in the cement. So I began to look at the word Allah. And when I began to look at the word Allah, I was amazed. I, I really, it caught my attention. Then I went with my boys, we walked down the block and there was a friend of mine named Muhammad who used to play basketball with me. He was walking up, to he was Muslim, right? He was coming to pick up his... His, his little brothers from the Friday school. So he passed by. We said, what's up? How's it going? What's up? He passed by. I left. And I said to myself, the same way I said to myself, if I don't go to the mosque, Allah is going to ask me why you didn't go to the mosque. So now I see I, Muhammad's walking away. And I'm saying to myself, if I don't ask Muhammad, Allah is going to ask me, Muhammad passed by you, why you didn't ask him? So I called Muhammad, Muhammad, uh, we used to call him Mo, right, Mo. So he came back. When he came back, he said to me, um, what's up? I said, yo, I want to go to the mosque. He said, you? I said, yeah. Then he said, he asked, why? I said, because I read the whole Quran. And I believe in everything that's in it. And I fear that if I don't go, Allah is going to ask me why you didn't go. I want to learn how to pray. I want to learn how to be a good Muslim. And he was shocked, right? So now he told me at this time, Friday night 
is after Isha, after the last prayer, the Imam left, people are leaving. So he said, let's meet on Wednesday. And on Wednesday, I'm going to, you know, this mosque, the, the North Hudson Islamic Educational Center has been having new Muslim classes for approximately more than 20 years. New Muslim and introductory classes on Islam every Wednesday, 7 o'clock. That was usually the average. So he told me, come on Wednesday. We went on Wednesday and... Actually, he told, we, we agreed 7 o'clock Wednesday. So, alhamdulillah. So, I went home. I was happy. I said, oh, I'm going to go to the mosque on Wednesday. Wednesday, I took a shower. I'm ready. And I began to think. I said, we didn't agree where we were going to meet. So, I said to myself, is Muhammad going to come to my house or I'm going to go to his house? So, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. It's almost 7 o'clock. So I said, you know, I got to go to Muhammad's house. If I don't go, Allah is going to ask me, why you didn't go to Muhammad's house? So I go to Muhammad's house. I said, man, his family knows me. If I go in, if I knock on the door, they're going to call the cops on me, right? <laughs> so I'm standing because he, he lives in the second floor. It's the stairs, right? So in the first floor is like a, the, the garage is in the first floor. Second floor is the house. So I go up the stairs and I ring the bell and I run down right when I run down I'm waiting and Muhammad comes out and he said come 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 I, I talked to my mom and come inside honestly I I knew I know Muhammad I knew Muhammad at that time eight years we went to school together play basketball this is the first time that I ever enter his house right because he was very studious he mashallah was very good and you know, uh, mashallah, in high school, he used to sometimes wear a kufi. I was he was from Palestine. I was really impressed, mashallah, uh, his character. And you enter the school, his pictures in the entrance of the school. So alhamdulillah, so I entered Muhammad's house. This is the first time that I see a, 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 a frame with the Quranic verses on the wall. Alhamdulillah, we went to the mosque. I sat down, and Muhammad tells me he was telling me about Islam I wasn't interested honestly at that time I was just in awe I am finally in a mosque wow nine months I've been reading the Quran I am finally I am finally in the mosque I am seeing the mosque wow look at the rugs look at the direction of the Qibla I was so amazed Alhamdulillah so finally you know, Muhammad's talking, you know, you know, when somebody like Abu Sumayyah today was talking about, you know, the, 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 the convert and, 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 the, and the born Muslim, right? And when a convert comes or when somebody and just all of, a, all of a sudden, our brothers, mashallah, they, they want to help, you know, alhamdulillah. And, you know, so they, they get motivated. They want to teach about Islam. So Muhammad got motivated. He started teaching me about Islam, but I wasn't listening. I was looking at the mosque. I was observing. I was like, wow, this, this place is different. There is no, there's no pictures. There's no saints, nothing. So alhamdulillah, finally, when, I, when it was time for prayer, Muhammad said, just sit here and watch us pray. I told him, you, you think it's fair? You pray and I watch? I didn't come to watch you pray. I came to pray. And nobody is going to tell me that I can't pray. So I went up and I just lined up. And this is the first time that I ever joined a salah. Right? So I joined the salah. I was salat al-maghrib, finished praying, alhamdulillah. And, and subhanAllah, it was, a, it, was an amazing, it was an amazing experience. The first amazing experience was to actually, to actually face the right qibla. <laughs> I, I figured out that I figured out that in my house, I was praying a different direction, right? But I, I, I knew that Allah says in, in the last three, uh, uh, three verses of the Quran, in the last verse of Surah Al-Baqarah, it says, uh, لَا يُكَلِّفُ اللَّهُ نَفْسًا إِلَّا وسعها. Allah does not place a burden on a, pray, on a person greater than he or she has strength to bear, right? So I knew that. So alhamdulillah, I was, I was confident that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was going to accept me, alhamdulillah. Now, 
that was my first prayer in a mosque, my first mosque experience. Bidnilla ta'ala, tomorrow, inshallah, uh, we will talk about in that first visit to the mosque, my first encounter with my first Imam, right? Sheikh Muhammad Al Hayek. Barakallah fee. May Allah bless him, inshallah. So tomorrow I'm going to talk about that experience uh, with having an Imam, a guide, alhamdulillah, that, had, that led those classes for over, for over 20 years at the North Hudson Islamic Educational Center. May Allah bless you all. Barakallah feekum. I have to go. I have a, a class to attend, inshallah. So I have to drive home and get ready for class. May Allah bless you all. Inshallah, see, inshallah tomorrow, Baydnila, we'll have the class. And Assalamu alaikum, Hisham. Hisham, my, my buddy from the North Hudson Islamic Educational Center. Mashallah, uh, Hisham uh, went Hajj with me, mashallah. And we had a, a great time. Alhamdulillah, he knows me since I became Muslim. Mashallah, Mustafa, mashallah, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, Sheikh Muhammad, Al Badawi, Barakallah Fik, Assalamu alaikum. Khairi. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, Saleh. Assalamu alaikum, uh, sister, uh, sister Santos, Um Habiba, Vilma, mashallah. <clears throat> Allah bless you and accept the, the, the effort, sister Sandy, uh, Sakina, Rahim, Ahmed. Assalamu alaikum, brother Farzan. Assalamu alaikum, uh, brother Marvin, mashallah. Nice to know that we have that in common, that we went to the same mosque, inshallah. So now, inshallah, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to do it in Spanish uh, as I drive home for my cousins that are here, Victor, uh, Johnny, and also Angel, right? I'm going to do it in Spanish, inshallah. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to, I'm going to conclude this one, inshallah, and, uh, boy, I, and I'm going to do one in Spanish, okay? So uh, Victor y, y Angel, inshallah, si Dios quiere, yo voy a terminar esta y voy a, uh, voy a hacer una en español especialmente para, para ustedes, inshallah, okay? Okay, salam alaikum. Hasta luego.